taking a look at the difference between Merkel cells and Mesna corpsels. These are named after the guys who found them. Now, to be clear here, the Merkel cells are cells that detect touch. The Meissner corpsels or Messner corpsels also detect touch. Okay, so the obvious question here is, what's the difference? The difference is, <clears throat> the Merkel cells, we know these first five layers here, is the epidermis. This is if you stick a needle going into your skin, going all down those first five layers. We have the corneum, lucidum, granulosum, spinosum, and basal, or basal. The stratum basal. <clears throat> all five of these are the epidermis. These layers down here, the two down here, are the dermis. And, of course, we have the papillary layer here. And the reticular layer here. Kind of sloppy handwriting, but yeah, I think you're kind of getting the point. Now, so the question is, what's the difference between the two? If they're both detecting touch, why do they have different names? Answer, because they're in different locations. The Merkel cells are in the epidermis. Exactly in the stratum basal of the epidermis. That's where the Merkel cells are. In the stratum basal. The mesnocorpsules also detect touch, but where are they? In the dermis. In the papillary layer of the dermis. This is where the mesnocorpsules are. Both of these are detecting touch. Now, they're also kind of detecting a different type of touch. Uh, if we want to go into some detail, this, the Merkel cells are detecting sort of a light touch. And the mesnocorpse is also detecting touch, but more of a vibration type of touch. But the concept is the same, and this is the big picture between those two. They have different names because, number one, they're in different locations, and number two, they kind of have a slight difference in function. And you can read online many other details of the difference between these two. So, that's it.